Question about freelancing. I'm just getting into freelancing. What are popular web applications to market to small business? You're going to see, for better or for worse, that WordPress is huge in small business. It's very big. Now, WordPress is, is its own beast in that you have to really understand it and understand the WordPress ecosystem to be efficient with it. And the ecosystem includes all the plugins, it includes all the themes, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, the services. So you're going to see a lot of that out there. Now, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of WordPress. It's kind of, uh, there's a double-edged sword with that application. But in terms of freelancing, WordPress is going to be huge. You may see people using things like Shopify or Wix or other web builders where they have relatively small budgets. So you'll use one of these tools to implement. They may not have a thousand or two thousand dollars to build a site from scratch, but they may have five hundred. So that's where a builder like a Wix or a Webflow or something would be useful. Those are my picks. Uh, I would add in payment processors like PayPal and Stripe. Again, freelancing is all about small business. These are the typical tools of small business. WordPress, maybe I'll throw in Drupal, Shopify, uh, Webflow, these types of things. You may want to look at, as a freelancer, look at automation tools like Zapier or newsletter systems like MailChimp or, uh, I don't know, Get Response. As a freelancer in the tech space, in the coding space, you need to have an array of skills that you can offer because it's going to maximize your opportunities and it's going to allow you to instead of bill you know x you could build two x or three x if that makes any sense somebody asked is php still relevant as a freelancer <laughs> yeah 100 percent. php is the king of freelance well the king of freelance is actually html css php and JavaScript. Those are the four key languages of the freelancer. Why? Because those are the languages that are used most often by small business. And when you're freelancing, you're almost always going to be dealing with small business. PHP is so huge because the big content management systems, WordPress and Drupal, are PHP based. And so many other uh, little implementations that are out there are are all PHP based, like it or not, there's so much infrastructure out, out there in PHP that this has to be maintained, this has to be updated. So yeah, if you're getting into freelance, I highly recommend you learn PHP, no question about it. Again, I'm not saying PHP is the best language technically, I'm just saying for the market. Always consider technologies, always look at the market, not just the the attributes of the technology itself. Consider the market. Are people really interested in that technology? Are they using it? So I've been trapped in the past where I leveraged a technology that was really, really good. In my opinion, it was better than what typically people would use, much better. But it never caught, got traction and it faded. And eventually I had to basically port an application that I built on this essentially dead technology uh, because uh, they weren't updating it, so I had to leave it. So don't get caught in some niche technology where you might find yourself uh, in an island without support. Not good.